everybody, it's IBB James, and I'm here with a special edition of the hashtag IBB community, and this is gonna be a three-part series, so it'll also be a trilogy. So we can't, you know, we can't not do a trilogy. I get a trilogy. Yes. So <laughs> Laura is a very good friend of mine, and we were talking about this last week, having some Fiona's coffee, chit-chatting. And so you are a city councilwoman for Willby Hills. That's right. Correct. And I'm like, Laura, I should know more. Can you please help me and the IBB community know a little more about what to look for? Because for me, what happened was I'm driving down the road one day uh -huh. and pops up a sign in someone's yard, vote for Freddie. Yeah. Like, oh, Freddie. Freddie <laughs> seems great. I'll vote for Freddie. And nice then, sign, right? And then, Good colors. And then, and then a week goes by, and then across the street, there's a sign that says, vote for Susie, not for Freddie. And I'm like, well, I really liked Freddie's sign. He seemed like a nice guy. And now Susie's running. She seemed, you know, her sign's a little more, you know, fancy. Maybe, so maybe you like the color better? Yeah. So, you I, know. I, I like red. I'm going to go with the red sign, yeah, right? Susie's got red, so therefore I'll vote for Susie. So that's where, for me, again... I'm sorry, community. My ig <laughs> I hate politics, but I understand if without politics, nothing gets done. Mm -hmm. And I also understand that, hey, I'm a big kid now. I got a seven month old. I should probably be much more in touch with what I should be focusing on with voting and all that fun stuff. Sure. So I'm gonna stop because I know nothing. <laughs> so teach me, what is your, f of, of the three, what's your first key for someone like myself, mm -hmm. that's like, hey, I don't really have the time or really, not even so much care. I mean, like, you got to care. Sure. But it's like, I, I don't want to spend hours and hours sure. trying to figure out what what three things should I look for. Right. So. Absolutely. And, you know, who has time for that? I mean, we, we're all busy. We, got, we all have busy lives. Yeah. We want to just assume that our government officials are going to take care of us and do the yes. right things. Right? So we just feel like, <laughs> well, I'll pick one and it's going to be good. Because... And it's going to be the red set. Exactly. So. <laughs> but unfortunately... <laughs> As we know, that yeah. um, it isn't necessarily a bet, but the best way to go about picking picking the person you vote for. Correct. But I think the first thing that you need to do is understand the office. So when you mm. when you go to the polls, you're going to get a ballot, and you're yes. going to be voting for different offices. You might okay. see, you know, we all know the president of the United States, right? Yes. That's an office we understand, <laughs> right? But we, we we vote for Congress people, we vote for senators, yes. federal going to to Congress in in Washington. We vote for state representatives, state senators. Mm -hmm. We vote for things like auditors, whatever that is, right. recorders, <laughs> coroners. I mean, on and on and on, we're voting yeah. for all these people. Yeah. Um, but I'm a city councilwoman, and so you know, we, we can first talk about city council here, and so I can explain to you what a city council person does, yes. how they work, and what to look for in a city council person to do their job effectively. Okay. Um, so, so what I think a lot of people don't understand is is that. Um, a city government is like the federal government in that there are branches of government. So, so in, in Washington, we have three branches of government. We all learned this in, yeah. in, in social studies, right? So we yeah. have a president, who, which is which is which is a branch. We have um, Congress, which is the legislative branch, and then mm. we have the courts, the, the judicial. Exactly. Yeah. See, you know, you I, know. So we. I have remember. The, right, the Supreme Court <laughs> and all the federal courts are the judicial branch, right? Yeah. So in a city government, we have two branches. We have the mayor, which is like a president. It's the executive, it's the executive branch. branch. Okay. Right. And then we have city council, which is the legislative branch. Ah. Now, some people think that city council works for the mayor, but no, no, no. There's the mayor and there's city council, and they're okay. equal. So Which the, is the whole checks and balances thing. You got it, it. yes. Yeah. Oh my I was getting god. there. I was oh my getting god. there. I know stuff. This <laughs> you is do. Cool. This, All is, right. this is really good. Thank, so, thank you, history, okay, government yeah, teachers. Okay, so, Dr. Ryman, thank you. That's right. AP government. I wasn't very good that's at right. it, schools, but I did remember that. <laughs> strong public schools are important, see? Yes. 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 <laughs> um, so anyway, so but with the mayor, the uh, the executive power is concentrated in one guy, mm -hmm. but or woman, and mm -hmm. then in council, there in, in Willoughby Hills anyway, there are seven council seats. So okay. so the legislative power is spread over these seven people. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so there are checks and balances between the mayor and the council. Mm -hmm. So the council can stop the mayor from doing things that the council doesn't want mm -hmm. the mayor to do, and the mayor can veto legislation that council passes. So the laws that the council makes. The mayor can veto them if he doesn't like what they're doing. So gotcha. um, those are checks and balances between. Which is, so that and that's a big thing too. Whenever you know, when everybody, all, all the rumbling of well, Congress this, Congress mm -hmm, that, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then uh, you know the president vetoed. That. So just kind of same. I feel like I can 
now this is very helpful because now I can say, okay, city council is the Congress. Right. And the mayor is the president. Right. And that's, you know, they can come up with something. Mayor can veto it. Mm -hmm. the, the mayor can say, <laughs> the mayor can say, I'm going to do all this for the city, all this for the community. Right, right, right. And city council will be like, no, you, you, you can't do that. that, that right. That's, or that's we don't want you to yeah. do that. Or so, we don't think that's what's, correct, what's right correct. to do. Okay. Exactly. So, um, cool. but within the council, there's checks and balances too, because there are seven mm -hmm. people. And, and ideally you have set, and this is where we're getting to, to who to vote for for city council, how, how mm -hmm. to decide what makes a good city council person. Mm -hmm. so, you have, so ideally we have seven individuals with, with, with diverse backgrounds and experiences and ways of viewing the world and, mm -hmm. and interests and what they think is best for the community. Yeah. And so those seven people need to discuss and debate and come mm -hmm. up with the right laws and kind of consensus. And to a uh, city council, so like for example, I'm on a few different board of directors, and it's and, and any board of directors is usually like, well, hey, we need someone that's good at mm -hmm. X, and we need someone that's good at Y. Mm -hmm. So like, is that too? It, are you? Is that ever a thing that you're trying to? Or there's more? There's people already working for the city that handle that, and it's more of city council needs to be kind of more like a well-rounded people that can. I mean, obviously, you got to get things done. Right. Yeah. I, I think I think that you need. I, so for city council, I think one one you so well, yeah we, we want someone who's an independent thinker and capable of of looking at the city landscape and coming up with their own conclusions about what's right. Mm -hmm. And you want someone who is interested in being a public servant, serving the public and not mm -hmm. themselves. Okay. Yeah. It's not about you know them getting more clients for their business or them getting right. more respect for themselves and mm. feeling good about themselves and telling people they're on city council. It's about yeah. someone who cares about the community and really wants to do what's right for, mm. for the people because ultimately the people, the people. are the boss. That's right. That's not right. the mayor, <laughs> not the council president, yeah, not yeah. anyone else. Yeah. It's the voters. Yeah. You are the so, boss. And, that, and that's where too I feel like you know that, that's something that is, is super important and I we're always preaching all the time that's like part of the the top three keys of success for us is like you know community and I feel like you know you you are gonna get uh, respect and you are gonna get those feel-good moments just simply serving that you know it's about yeah, serving, serving right. people it will give you respect mm -hmm. and you'll you know and it will give you you know more influences and, and, and things of that nature so I feel like too that's something where you're helping. I'm, I'm just kind of piecing this on yeah, my yeah. head. Is just serving the people will get you all the things that most people get into politics. For. And, and right. I'm making a huge general assumption. And, this is how you know, it should be. Correct. You're explaining how it should be. Correct. <laughs> but also too, that's where I I'm I know obviously like yourself. I know a lot of really great people oh, in you. politics <laughs> and, and and especially to locally that that affects me very much mm -hmm. when we're like doing all this hashtag go lake county mm -hmm. stuff and we're mm -hmm. you know lake county is that's our me and gary always talk about it's our gotham because we're big batman nerds you know mm -hmm. vigilantes of lake <laughs> <County>. <laughs> so, but no so that's where too is is in the same breath i can be like well politicians are they just want power and they just want or some they do. want this that is true some but at the do. same time by me saying that, I'm completely disrespecting you and disrespecting the, yeah. pe the people that I do know that do a great job. So Right, and, but, and maybe we yeah. are unicorns, people who actually care. <laughs> maybe we are. I don't think so, though. Vote for unicorns. Yes, there you go. <laughs> but I think that, and we'll, we'll talk about this, this, this next, I think, but there yeah. are ways that you can tell yeah. that someone is more likely, a candidate is more likely to care about you and mm -hmm. the issues and really serve you and not just themselves. And so gotcha. we can talk about okay. that Okay, well, so that'd be number two. So... One, understand what you're voting for. Yes, what is this office? Yeah. What's the job supposed to be? Because what remember, is, you're what? the boss, and you're interviewing these candidates mm -hmm. for the job that and you're them. hiring them. Got to so, grill them. Right. Yeah. Treat them that way. Yeah. Would you hire this person to do this? And know the job so you know if they're qualified to, for you to hire them and vote for them. I like it. I like <laughs> it. Well, very good. Well, thank you so much. Oh, of course. And so <laughs> thank you. Thank you for tuning in for part one of this special limited edition <laughs> three-part series hashtag trilogy of the IBB <laughs> community and again number one know the office know what position you're voting for and what they are supposed to be doing to serve you the people so until next time stay burn proof. <laughs>